Hello and welcome to Auto Today. My name is the Pioneer. Joining us just off the Konkan coast for a very special review, and that is this: the Triumph Scrambler 400X. Now this is based on the same platform that we got the Speed 400X, and that will spawn another two motorcycles that we can tell you of now. But as for this one, let's jump into our review. And tell you what all has changed mechanically first before we go into the design elements that set it apart. Now, starting at the front, you're probably going to notice a larger front wheel, and that is by design because it is a scrambler and it needs to be maneuverable off-road. So, a 19-inch wheel. But it's not just the size of the wheel, but the wheel itself that has changed in the sense that this one is slightly heavier and is slightly more rugged to deal with those off-road terrains. The suspension at the front has been raised by 10 mm. Another big change, of course, it is running also a bigger disc with a 320 millimeter disc up front. Although it misses out on the sintered pads that we got on the Speed 400X. So that there is a more progressive brake feel and a little more bias towards the off-road setting rather than that really sharp uh, sintered brake pad feel that you get on the Speed 400X. This is more pliant off-road. Now another big change that has come at the chassis level, of course, is this extended headstock, which adds a few millimeters to the wheelbase of the motorcycle. Aside from that, at the back you also get a mono shock. But you get it with 30 millimeters additional travel than you would have had on the Speed 400X. At the front, you have 10 more additional millimeters of travel, and that is to support the off-road settings of this motorcycle and to make it more pliant and easier to use off-road and on rough roads. And a good place to start with the design of the Scrambler 400X is the overall package. And I think when you look at the package as a whole, Triumph have really smashed the ball out of the park with the Scrambler 400X. From the first time we've seen it, it has been a very attractive motorcycle, and in the flesh, that is even more so true. But Triumph have given it all the little details to make it. As authentic a scrambler as possible. Now, starting at the front, of course, you get this headlamp guard, which is metal, and of course, suits the off-road theme of the motorcycle. Knuckle guards also come as standard. You get a steering damper with a damper cushion with the Triumph logo, which I think looks really cool. Now, when you move to the tank, you do get rubber grips on the side, which make gripping and staying on the motorcycle off-road a whole lot easier, especially when you're standing up. But we'll get to that when we get to the ergonomics. The seats are a little different, and now you have a ribbed seat layout, which is comfortable for long rides. And another big change on the Scrambler, of course, is the guardrails, which are easier to hold on to when you're riding off-road. Of course, the design of the exhaust has changed too, as has the oral note by design. And let's give you a listen to that oral note of the Triumph Scrambler 400X before we hop onto ergonomics. I think I like that really rotty exhaust note that the Scrambler 400X gets, and I think it sounds pretty unique and set apart from the Speed 400, and that gives this bike its own distinct character, despite having more or less the same mechanicals under the skin. Now, one of the big changes from the Speed 400X to the Scrambler 400X is, of course, the ergonomics. Thanks to the 10 millimeters of clearance up front, the 20 millimeters of clearance at the rear, and the increased ground clearance. So now you have a seat height that is 835 millimeters off the ground. Now that may seem a little daunting on paper, but let me tell you, I've seen people today from 5.5 to 6 feet plus. Find their position very comfortably on the scrambler, and that is because the seat tends to uh, move downwards, can downwards as it moves towards the tank. Which means, if you are a slightly shorter rider, you can probably put get your legs flat on the ground once you are closer to the tank. If you are taller, moving a little bit down the seat will give you more clearance and will give you that really nice reach to the handlebars. Now, in terms of riding triangle, of course. Being a scrambler, you're going to get that upright, chest to the wind position, and as you can see, my knees line up very well with the uh, rubberized knee pads, and that makes gripping on, especially in corners, really easy. 
Now the wide handlebar makes it really easy to maneuver off-road and it gives you a nice berth of turning even in tight spots. Overall, it may seem a little daunting but I suggest if the Scrambler and an off-road motorcycle is something that you're interested in, give the Scrambler 400X a try, get on the seat and see how it feels because at the end of the day, another thing you have to remember, it is also a very light motorcycle and that makes maneuvering it easy even if your feet aren't fully touching the ground. Now, let's hop on the bike, go out for a ride and see how the Scrambler 400X performs on the road. Now powering the Scrambler 400X is the 398cc liquid cool single that we saw on the Speed 400. The wide torque spread, the quick throttle response and the solid top end performance of the single continue. Except the Scrambler is running a slightly shorter overall ratio with a smaller sprocket at the front. Now this is not something you're really going to notice but one can't help but feel that the difference goes in compensating for the weight difference between the two motorcycles. Vibrations do exist, but several damping countermeasures, including rubber dampers in the footpegs and a waist set inset into the handlebar, do a decent job of containing them. Overall, though, the ride experience is rewarding and the Scrambler proves to be just as enjoyable off road as it is on the road and in the twisties. And it's this multi purpose ability at its core that makes the Triumph Scrambler 400X such a good motorcycle. Now we've had an exciting morning with the Triumph Scrambler 400X but before we jump into our verdict there's one small factor that we haven't spoken about yet. Now about a week before we got to ride this motorcycle Triumph announced the price for the Scrambler 400X at 2.63 lakh X showroom which is about 30,000 rupees more than the Speed 400X. Now that makes this the most accessible Scrambler in this price segment and in this CC class and for the price you really don't feel like you've bought a bargain motorcycle and when I say bargain motorcycle what I mean is like there was cost cutting involved or you really have to sacrifice anything in terms of ride experience, in terms of performance, in terms of uh, handling or in fact even in terms of build quality and that's where I think Triumph have and Bajaj of course have brought together this really formidable union in which they're making motorcycles that are globally standardized and can take on motorcycles across the globe without really breaking a price point and becoming the most accessible and the most value for money products in the segment. And that continues with the Scrambler 400X, which is a great motorcycle to ride on the road, is good on rough and slightly off-road trails, extreme off-road of course it was never really meant for scramblers so we leave that aside but when it comes to trail riding, off-roading and of course riding for long hours on the road I think the Scrambler 400X really has it nailed and it is probably the best 400cc Scrambler on sale in India right now I'll go as far as to say that now of course if you like this video there's that like button right down there hit it so that we know how much you care about us and of course if you haven't subscribed to the Auto Today channel yet that is your chance to do that now thank you so much for watching this is Didi signing off